Good morning, children. Yes, I hope you have understood our Karnataka's four division, right? What we have learned in the last previous period? Okay, Bangalore division, isn't it? So, how many uh, districts are there in the Bangalore division? There are nine districts. Then, what, what we have learned in the Bangalore division? Okay, our culture and the values. Then, those who are the kingdom ruled Bengaluru division. Then, those who are the artists and literature and festival. Yes, so these are all we have learned. Apart from that, education, education center we have learned. Then, Bengaluru division, rivers, minerals, natural resources. Yes, waterfalls, wild animals, bird sanctuaries. So, we have learned, isn't it? Mm, and one by one, uh, district wise also, we have learned, we have understood the district, nine districts of Bengaluru division, isn't it? So, today, one more administration division called Mysuru division. What is that, children? Mysuru division. Our Karnataka own ladies. So, first one is Bengaluru division, and the second one is. Mysore division. So, this Mysore division, it is another administration division. I think Mysore, if we are taking the name Mysore means, suddenly we will get the name of Mysore Vadayar, Stippu Sultan, Saram Vishweshwaraya. Isn't it children? Yes. Why? Because Saram Vishweshwaraya, when he was a divan of the Mysore Vodaya's time, isn't it? So, during that time, his contribution, it was very rich. That is, KRS dam constructions, isn't it children? So, when we think of Mysore, what, what it is there in the Mysore? Can you tell me some names of Mysore? Yes, what, what it is there in the Mysore? First of all, Chamundi Hills, yes or not? Then, Brindavan or Garden, isn't it? Then, Zoo. Uh, then, Palace. Jarmona Palace, Lalit Mahal. Yes. And, Mysore Palace. During the time of Mysore Vadayas, they have built the palace. Yes, it was very, it is very, very nice. Then, uh, apart from that, what we can see? Dasara festivals, each and every time, isn't it? Every uh, Dasara festival, 9 to 10 days, it will be celebrated. Yes or not? So, that we are remembering. Uh, then, apart from that in Mysuru, Mysuru silk. Then, Mysuru jasmine, Mysuru malige, Mysuru sandal, Mysuru church. Isn't it? St. Mary church. So, these are all, suddenly we will get the ideas if we will take the Mysore. Why? Because this Mysore is having historical famous palaces are there. Historical background. And Chamradnagara, Hasan, Mandya, Kodagu. Yes, Dakshin Kannada, Udupi. So, these are all the eight districts Mysore division is having children. What are that? Yes, first one is Mysore, Chamrajanagara, Hasan, Chikkamagaluru, Mandya, Kodagu, Dakshin Kannada and Udupi. So, there are eight districts. It is divided into Mysore division children. Okay, Mysore, how it get the name? Do you know that? During the time of historical period, there was a kingdom rule. Who are the kings? They were ruled here. Mysore Vadayars. Apart from that, either any or the Tipu Sultan also, they were ruled here, children. But according to the Hindu mythological or the epics, it will tell us the story of Mysore, how it get the name, how, he, how Mysore got the name of Mysore, okay? That is, during the time of Mahishasura, have you heard the name? Yes, during that time, according to the mythology, or mythological stories, there was a Mahishasura. Okay. So, he was a devil. Understood? So, this Mahishasura, he was killed by the Chamundeshwari. It is 
the form of the goddess Parvati Devi. What is that goddess? Parvati Devi, she was in the form of Chamundeshwari. What is that? Chamundeshwari role or, or the form of Chamundeshwari. She was appeared in front of the Mahishasura and she was killed. So, until then it was called Mahisha Mandala or Mahisha Nadu. When she was killed here, Mahisha Sura, then that Mahisha Mandala or Mahisha Nadu got the name Mysuru, where Parvati or the Chamundeshwari killed Mahisha Sura. So, it got the name of Mysuru. So, this was the epic or the uh, mythological story. Okay, children? Means, Pauranika uh, Kathegal. Okay? So, this Mysuru district. Uh, I already said that the Tipu Sultan and Hyderabad also they were ruled here and the Vadayas they were ruled. So the first Vadayar, Yaduraya, he was the first Vadayar of this Mysore Vadayas. Then Krishna Devaraya fourth, Jay Chamarajendra Vadayar, uh, Chikka Devaraya Vadayar, these are all the Vadayas became very famous. And the last uh, Jay Chamarajendra Vadayar, during his time, Vadayar's uh, ruling, it, uh, Vadayar's rule became ended. Uh, why? Because in between there was a Tipu Sultan and Hyder Ali, they were uh, got the power of the uh, Mysore uh, and Mysore surroundings. Okay, children. So, uh, almost Hyder Ali and the Tipu Sultan, they were ruled the Mysore from 1761 to 1799. Why? Because 1799 Tipu was died. Okay. So, after the Tipu's death, Br uh, British, gover British government, they have given to, again, to the Mysore Vadayas. During that time, Krishna Raja Vadayar IV, he was ruled here. Okay, children. So, Krishna Deva Raja Vadayar IV, he made uh, lots of uh, irrigational facilities for the people. There so many developmental uh, uh, constructions he has taken. Number of wells and the uh, tanks he was made. Apart from that, uh, during his time, uh, Sir Mishweshwaraya was a financial advisor of the Krishna Raja Vadayar IV. So, he constructed the dam, KRS dam, okay. It is in the Mandya district. So, KRS dam he was built. Apart from that, uh, another thing is, uh, uh, during this time, they were uh, built the University of Mysore and uh, SBM means State Bank of Mysore. Uh, and so many untouchables are there in during that time. So for them also, uh, because of the untouchables, Krishna Devaraya Vadayar has taken the developmental uh, or he was implementing lots of, uh, uh, it may be economic, it may be social justice, whatever. Okay, means he was uh, trying to bring the equality among the untouchability as well as the other people. Means social justice he has given during this time children. Not only for this, Swami Vivekananda, have you heard that? Yes, why? Swami Vivekananda, he was going to Chicago. During that time, he came to uh, Mysore and uh, during the time of uh, Krishna Deva Raja Vadayar fourth. So here, uh, Swami Vivekananda, he was taken the some amount or the helps from this Vadayar. Okay. So, uh, apart from that, Mysuru, already I said, what is that? It is very famous. One, one thing it is, Chamundi hills are there. Apart from that, so many districts, which are the districts are there in the Chamarajanagara, Hasan, Mandya, or Kodagu. Kodagu, what we call? Kashmir, Karnataka Kashmir, isn't it? But now it is not there. Why? Because uh, flood has come, isn't it? Nowadays, the flood, the flood was demolished, everything. Okay, but before that, Kodagu was called... Uh, Karnataka, Kashmir, Karnataka, Kashmir. Okay, so here Mysore division it is having eight districts. In this Mysore only we will have the beautiful Saint Mary Church, isn't it? And palace, Jagamona Palace, Lalit Mahal. Apart from that, Chamundi Hills. 
apart from that uh, mysore brindavan krs dam kaveri river is flowing here right and uh, so many beautiful things especially zoo for the animals isn't it so so many kids so not only kids even we are, we people also we can enjoy if we will go to the zoo isn't it so these are all the places we can see apart from that it is having eight districts i already said okay and what type of the climatical condition it is having do you know that this mysore neither too hot or neither too dry type of the climatical condition or neither too much rainfall chamrajnagar hasan chikmagaluru these are all the district will get kodagu these are this will get uh, highest rainfall whereas mandya it is having a dry weather condition means atmosphere is dry even mysore uh, moderate types of the rainfall it is getting and uh, not only for this so many natural resources what are the natural resources which we will get it from the nature it is called natural resources what are the natural resources rivers forest or the uh, mountain minerals isn't it so this is called natural resources so many waterfalls are there wild animals are there forests are there rivers are there so these natural resources it is very rich in mysore children why because uh, here the people of mysore division they are depending the agriculture so they are growing the ragi paddy and um, groundnut maize horse gram and green gram okay apart from that they are growing some commercial crops as also like cardamom pepper and uh, uh, coffee cashew nuts and uh, uh, sugar so these are all the types of potato include potato orange so these are all the commercial crops they were uh, mysore people mysore division people they are growing especially chikmagaluru side or malanadu we will call that betel leaf and betel leaves they are growing children so they are exporting to inside the country apart from that in uh, uh, mysore uh, mysore state so i think uh, 1973 up to 1973 it is called mysore state when karnataka integration movement was started in the mysore as well as the whole karnataka then it got the karnataka name okay yes now secondly we will have the uh, forest what type of the forest where we can see chamarajanagar hasan kodagu so these are all the places he is having uh, uh, very thick forest dense forest here forest for example malemadeshwara betta pushpagiri hills malay madeshwara hills pushpagiri hills uh, then uh, gopalaswami betta then biligiri rangana betta so these are all the hills we can say that and indira giri and the chandra giri it is in the this hills or the it is called mountain highest mountain it is in the hasan near the shavan balgol betta means where the bahubali or the gomateshwara is there in the chandra giri or, or indragiri uh, betta or indragiri hills children uh, apart from that uh, teak wood sandal and uh, tega matti bete bete means what do you call that bete matti te teak wood means tega okay so these are all the sandal means ganda so these are all that and nandi nandi also so these are all the types of the trees are growing or Uh, growing in this region in this region means uh, mysore division okay children apart from that uh, some amount of already i said what is that gopala swami betta malay madeshwara then biligiri rangana betta then uh, kemmanna gundi have you heard the name of kemmanna gundi so kemmanna gundi baba budan giri these are all have you heard that where it is children baba budan giri chikmagaluru where it is chikmagaluru isn't it so chikmagaluru district what we can see 
Baba Budangiri or the Kemmannu Gundi. Baba Budangiri, there was a Baba Budan, he was a Sufi saint, he came and he was stayed here. He was conducted his meditation here and he was given the more importance to the coffee. So that coffee became famous in this region general. Okay, so that that uh, hills is called Baba Budangiri. Apart from that, uh, Kemmannu Gundi. Okay, then Chandragiri, Indragiri and Chamundi hills. So these are all the highest or the tallest hills or the mountain we can see in this Mysore division. Then animals like bison, sheep, uh, tiger and uh, crocodiles, snakes, wild cats, wild dogs. These are all the... Uh, types of the animals we can see and wild animals government has established to protecting the animals and the birds so they made a sanctuaries bird sanctuaries as well as the uh, wildlife sanctuaries children so here pushpagiri wildlife sanctuary and bandipura nagarhole national park is there here so national park uh, it is for protecting the animals only okay then apart from that uh, male mahadeshwara wildlife sanctuary uh, then pushpagiri over okay uh, so these are all the wildlife sanctuaries we can see in this region apart from that bird sanctuary bird sanctuary gudvi bird sanctuary then uh, uh, one more thing is ha ranganathittu famous ranganathittu bird sanctuary we can see in this mysuru division children apart from that river which are the river first of all kaveri yes or not because kaveri this river has given almost all the district especially kodagu district it was taken the born isn't it tala kaveri it was the birthplace of kaveri so in the Brahmagiri hills, I think uh, three, four days back or one week back, uh, you might have heard in the news channel, Brahmagiri betta kusdi de anta alwa. So that Brahmagiri hills, it was the birthplace of Kaveri river. So it is called Talakaveri. Okay. So Talakaveri, Bhagamandala, these are all the places we can see. Kaveri river. So these Kaveri river, almost all the Mandya and Hassan, Chikmagaluru, sorry, uh, Mysore, these are all, not only Mysore, even include Bangalore also, they are getting the irrigational facilities as well as the drinking facilities, children. Okay, so uh, Kaveri, it, it is the lifeline of uh, Karnataka. What is that? Of Mysore and the Bangalore. Okay, and uh, apart from that, uh, we can have another types of the rivers. What is that? Uh, Mm, Shimsha river, then uh, we'll have the Harangi, Hemavati, Vedavati, Arkavati. Apart from that, uh, uh, another thing is Kumaradwara. What is that? Kumaradwara also one no, and Yagachi. Yes, what is that? Yagachi and the Gangoli river. Yagachi, it is flowing through the uh, Hassan children. Okay, so Harangi, Hemavati, these are all the river is uh, made the fertile soil where it is flowing. So it made the fertile soil for good and it is good for the agriculture also. Uh, and uh, apart from that, it is having the uh, irrigational uh, project. What is that? Irrigational project. Harangi and Hemavati irrigational project. Then the Kaveri, so it is giving the, and KRS, Kaveri River, KRS irrigational project, uh, nowadays they are having, okay, government is having the project, irrigational project, means they are using that water for the irrigational facilities for all the surrounding people, means they are constructing the dam, so they are storing the water here, then they, make, they are making the canals, through the canals they are leaving the water to their uh, paddy or the uh, where they are doing the agricultural activities okay so that they are giving the water facilities for this purpose they made the projects then another thing is minerals what type of the minerals they are getting bauxite felsite manganese limestone granite these are all the major minerals they are getting in the Mysore division children as 
especially Baba Budangiri or Kemmanu Gundi. Manganese and the iron ore they are getting. Then bauxite and all other granite, limestone, these are all it is getting surrounded the people, especially Dakshin Kannada and the uh, Hassan, Kodagu, Chikamagaluru district. And especially uh, in the Chikamagaluru, sorry, not Chikamagaluru, uh, Chamaraja Nagar. How, how it get the name? Chamaraja Nagar. Okay. So during the time of Krishna Devaraya Vodaya 4th, he was given the name to Chamaraja Nagara. Why? Because he has given his father name. Father name is Chamaraja Indra Vodaya. So that he has given Chamaraja Vodaya. Until then, it was called Ari Kutara. What is that? Ari Kutara. It was the name called to Chamaraja Nagara. Once Vodaya 4th, Krishna Devaraya Vodaya 4th, sorry, Krishna Raja Vodaya 4th, he has given the name. Chamaraja Vodaya, Chamaraja name. Okay, so that Chamaraja Nagara it came. In this Chamaraja Nagara, what we have? Bligiri Rangana Betta and the Gopal Swami Betta. Children. Gopal Swami Betta, there will be a, uh, in the morning, 4 o'clock, if you will uh, go to the, what do you call that? Um, if you will go to that uh, morning time, where you, if you will sit uh, sit in the uh, Gopal Swami Betta at the morning time, 3 to 4, 5 o'clock. So, you can see the clouds are upon your head. All the clouds, how we can say? Upon our head, isn't it? But in the Gopal Swami Betta, all the clouds are moving through down to you. Means, Nimma Kelagade Moda Vodage concept. Okay? So, usually what we can see? Upon our head we can see, isn't it? In the sky we can see. But in the Gopal Swami Betta, time of 4 o'clock, morning 4 o'clock, if you will see, all the clouds are moving towards downside, children. Okay, where you will stand, so downside it will be moving. So like that, we can have the uh, surprise in the uh, Gopal Swami Betta. Means God Krishna temple is there here, children. Okay, uh, next one is Mandya. Uh, Mandya district. What we are having? 1938 only it was. Uh, Mandya district was formed, children. 1938 only. During this time, uh, Mandavya, because Mandavi river are flowing here, and another region, another reason. Mandavya, one of the sage, he was conducted the uh, meditation here, children. So that sage name only, uh, Mandya district, that uh, they have called Mandya. Okay, in this Mandya district, we can see the Sri Ranga Patana, isn't it? What is that Sri Ranga Patana? Yes, Sri Ranga Patana means it, it was the capital of. Vadayar, Mysore Vadayar as well as the Tipu Sultan. Why? Because Tipu Sultan, he made the Darya Daulat. In this Hyderali and the Tipu Sultan, they made the Sri Ranga Patana as their capital. There they were uh, constructed the one Mahal that is their uh, winter time or sorry, summer time. Summer time they will be staying here. They were staying here. Okay. So, uh, that is called Darya Daulat. Apart from that here, Ranganatha Swami. What is that? In the Sri Ranga Patana, what we can see? Ranganatha Swami. He was laying his, uh, uh, what do you call that? On the snake, he was laying his head. Isn't it, children? Means, he was slept. That Ranganatha Swami, he was slept on the snakes. Okay. So, that uh, temple we can see in this Sri Ranga Patana. Apart from that in Sri Ranga Patana, uh, yes, there also Kaveri River is flowing. So, that is giving the irrigational facility, facilities to all over the Mandya district. And the, uh, Mandya, they are uh, having the sugar factory children because uh, almost sugar it is exporting through the Mandya only. Okay, exporting to our country, inside the country, it is exporting. Mandya, it is famous for sugar. Then Chamaraja Nagara, it is famous for mulberry. 
then uh, coffee where we can see coffee chikamagaluru okay and uh, another thing is some waterfalls we can see in this mysore division isn't it children abbe falls at uh, chikamagaluru we can see that apart from that gaganachukki barachukki in the mysore division or near the chamrajnagar so that also we can say that then uh, uh, which are the two coastal uh, division yes would be at the dakshin kannada dakshin kannada during that time alupas they were ruled here children alupas rani abbakka rani abbakka devi she was the she was belongs to chauta family she was ruled the dakshin kannada and kodagu it was ruled by haleri dynasty what is that haleri dynasty but after haleri dynasty mysore wadayas they took the kodagu and the dakshin kannada after that during the british time so british people they were called dakshin they were called in this dakshin kannada kenara district what is that kenara district so this kenara district what we call that dakshin kannada isn't it but it is divided because that two coastal division the coastal part it is divided during the british time only so it is called uh, dakshin kannada and the uttar kannada okay now after the dakshin kannada again udupi district formed in during the 1997 udupi district formed through the dakshin kannada chala okay uttar kannada later next uh, chapter we will learn okay about dakshin kannada what what we are having children yes first of all uh, so many uh, arts and uh, literature especially shivram karant isn't it yes one of the nobel award or gnanapeetha uh, award what do you call that gnanapeetha award he has taken uh, he was belong to dakshin kannada district who was who, who is that person yes dr shivra karant okay apart from that sl bhairappa dore swami ayyangar vide sheshayya pitilu chaudaya these are all they have given the greatest contribution for their music children then uh, apart from that apart from that uh, uh, what do you what do you call that in this dakshina kannada yakshagana dakshin kannada and udupi almost so uh, what is that bhutaradhane and bhutaradhane it was the uh, famous festival of dakshin kannada chatta uh, this is called tulunadu dakshin kannada it is called tulunadu so in this tulunadu is famous festival that is bhutaradhane or bhutakola apart from that chodi kunita kamsale then uh, uh, yakshagana it is the famous uh, dance or the during the festival time they are doing then kambala one of the famous game they are conducting uh, in the dakshin kannada district then uh, apart from that dakshin kannada dharmasthala famous netravati river is flowing here isn't it then karkala gomateshwara and shavana belagola gomateshwara is in this especially karkala gomateshwara karkala also one of the name it is in the dakshin kannada near dharmasthala so there we can see the gomateshwara or the bahubali statue children okay apart from that in the hasan hasan have you heard the name yes hasan benuru halebidu isn't it so hasan during that time hoysalas hoysala dynasty they were ruled here during that time they made the capital dwarasamudra now it is called benuru and the halebidu so it is on the bank of river yagachi okay in this beluru uh, sunrise it is famous means sunrise we can see very beautifully in this place in beluru after that beluru chanakeshava temple as well as the halebidu hoysaleshwara temple is famous uh, it is like a um, hoysala people they were given the greatest contribution of this madanikas or the idols children here in this beluru we can see the uh, idol mon, uh, what do you call that uh, madanika idol means uh, it is called dharpana sundari means uh, that idol was holding girl idol 
ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಚು ಅದು ಏನಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಹರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದರ್ಪಣ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಮಿರರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದರ್ಪಣ ಸುಂದರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಶಿಲಾ ಬಾಲಿಕೆ ನಾನು ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಬೇಲೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಂಗಿದೆ ಅದು ದ ಒಂದು ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಮಿರರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹಿಡಿದಿದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆ ಮಿರರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಿರರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತನ್ನ ಮುಖನ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂತ ಒಂದು ದೃಶ್ಯ ಅದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಾಟ್ ಮದಾನಿಕಾ ಐಡಲ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೇಲೂರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಳೆಬೇಡು ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬೇಲೂರ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೋಪ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪೇಂಟೆಡ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಎಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಹಾರ್ಸಸ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೋಲ್ಜರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಸರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಸಲ ವಿಷ್ಣುವರ್ಧನ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಫೇಮಸ್ ರೂಲರ್ he was ruled here okay so vishnuvardhana's wife called shantala she was a dancer okay for her only uh, beluru we can see the rangamantapa why because she was dancing and giving the happiness to all other people in this time okay uh, then so that was the historical story okay then another thing is shravana belagola where it is in the hasan district what we can see in the chandragiri and the hemagiri sorry indragiri and the chandragiri hills in the chandragiri hills we can see the shravana belagoda it is uh, 58 feet height bahubali statue we can see it is a single monolithic statue what is that single monolithic statue it is 58 feet height that was the famous place at the hasan children what is that shravana belagola gommateshwara one is a famous another gommateshwara where we can see it is in the dakshin kannada karkala okay then dakshin kannada padamburu and the navamangaluru port there are two famous ports we can see that okay so there only uh, we can see the uh, what do you call that boats are sailing from the navamangaluru port means whenever they are exporting to uh, fishes or any other spicy items so they are ex- uh, exporting through the navamangala navamangaluru and the padamburu port apart from that in the udupi district uh, it is formed during the 1997 from the dakshin kannada only so in this udupi bhajpe it is the famous airport we can see apart from that malpe one of the port it is there in the malpe port or malpe beach what you call that no that is famous in this udupi chenar apart from that the so many tribal people they are living uh, near the chamrajnagar hasan kodagu like that especially kodagu they are celebrating the huttari festivals they are called kodavas what is that kodavas they are having the huttari festival especially in the madikeri region we can see this huttari festival children apart from that uh, there will uh, there will be a uh, koda uh, kodiyas malekudiyas jenu kurbas so these are all the types of the tribal community or the tribal people we can see near the kodagu and chamrajnagar okay then hindu muslim christians all other religion also they are living in this region kodagu they are speaking the uh, kannada only but in the madikeri region they are speaking uh, some somebody they are speaking tulu and somebody they are speaking the kodavas uh, uh, language okay uh, apart from that um, i already said that arts and literature everything is it uh, then industry children first agriculture okay what are the agriculture they are growing what are the activities they are doing where there is a coastal part dakshin kannada and udupi this coastal coast uh, fishing activities means almost all the people they are depending fishing that agriculture cashew nut coffee these are all they are growing then other people they are having the timber wood activities means they are exporting the timbers 
ತಿಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಮರದ ದಿಮ್ಮಿಗಳನ್ನು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ತಿಂಬರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಖೆಡ್ಡ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಖೆಡ್ಡ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಟೀಮಿಂಗ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಖೆಡ್ಡ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವೆಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಗ್ರಾಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾಲಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಟಿಂಬರ್ ವುಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮಾಸಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಸೂರು ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಓಲ್ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾರಸಂಗಂಗೋತ್ರಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸ್ಯಾಂಚುರಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫಿನಿಷಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಚುರಿ ಇಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಸುತ್ತಿಗೆ ಮಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಟ್ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೆಚ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಫುಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಾರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾರ್ ವ್ಯಾರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಸೈಡ್ ವಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ದೆನ್ ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ ದೆನ್ ಕೊಡಗು ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮಡಿಕೇರಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೆನ್ ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ ಹಾಸನ್ ದೆನ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕಮಗಳೂರು ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಎಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕಮಗಳೂರು ಇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಕನ್ನಡ ವೆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಉಡುಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ ಎಸ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಶ್ರವಣಬೆಳಗೊಳ ಮಡಿಕೇರಿ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಕ್ಕಮಗಳೂರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಏಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ನಾವಲಿಸ್
Rangaina, it was the theater they were exhibited. Means they were established in the Rangaina theater, government has established. Then, about the health, what they have taken the facilities. First of all, in the rural area, primary sub health center they were opened. Then, secondly, there is a child mortality rates and the uh, women. Uh, mortality rate. What is that? Child mortality rate as well as the uh, woman uh, or woman means here uh, those pregnant. Okay. So that pregnant mortality rate. These two are the health indicators whichever government has given. So apart from that so many mobile, mobile health center also they were opened in the rural areas of this TV junction. Okay. Then uh, what else are there? Yes, music I already said. Who are the musical? Yes, Vine Sheshaya, Dore Swami Ayyangar. Uh, then uh, who are there? Vine Sheshaya, Pitilu Chaudaya. So these are all they have given. Then uh, one of the, uh, during the time of Devaraj Aras, what is that? Devaraj Aras time. Uh, he was... Uh, trying to bring the Devaraj Aras time as well as the Krishna Devaraya 4th during the Vadiya's time. They were trying to bring the equality, social justice among the people of this division. Children. Okay. Uh, yes. Another two people, uh, they are called like a freedom fighters during the time. Ramachandra Rao as well as Kudumal Ranga Rao. Ramachandra Rao and the Kodumal Ranga Rao, these two freedom fighters just they were followed the Gandhi ji and they were uh, participated in the freedom struggle as well as they have uh, tried to bring the uh, equality among the people means uh, trying to remove the untouchability in these division children. Untouchability means do you know that? Yes, because uh, they, during the uh, ancient time we are having the four types of the caste system, Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra like that. So, these Shudra people they were called untouchables means nobody they are touching the people. That people should not go inside the temple, they should not touch the lakes or the well. So, like that whatever they are giving the food just they are throwing it. So, like that they were badly treated. During this time not to, after the freedom uh, struggle also, after the independence also, this untouchability it became uh, removed, little removed, but still in some places it is there. Okay, but we educated people should try to remove this untouchability. Children. So like that Kodumal Rangarao and the Ramachandra Rao, they were trying to remove this untouchability. Okay, children. So, this is about the uh, freedom fighters. And apart from that culture, already you know the cultures of this. Yes or not? Dasara festivals, Uttari festivals, Kamsade Kunita. Then, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? Bhutara uh, uh, so, so, Chaudi Kunita, Kamsade. So, these are all, they made our culture very rich. Apart from that Dasara festival, we are all celebrating... Karnataka especially in the Mysore, isn't it? Uh, then, arts, literature, everything, uh, dance, folk festivals or folklore, Yakshagana. So, these are all, they made the, or at the novelist or the writist or whatever. So, they made the Kannada literature as well as the Kannada culture very rich their contribution is very immensely rich okay children so just go through the lesson children mysuru division how many district eight districts so these are all district wise you read the lesson after the watching video read the lesson well important thing just you highlight it highlight it in pencil okay then go through the question and solve it children okay here almost 30 32 questions are there just you solve it thank you